All right, hello friends and welcome to another virtual reality stream here on Code It Live. Uh, thanks uh, again, Sam, for the uh, kind introduction. I know Sam was struggling up against some new hot bits in uh, .NET 6 Preview 3, uh, but it was a lot of um, a lot of interesting stuff there with, uh, with XAML and WPF uh, that I just frankly don't know anything about. That's why I watch Sam. In, uh, been following his uh, blog posts on uh, the, the sands of Maui. Um, Alyssa is uh, going to be with us shortly. 
Uh, Liz is a fantastic mom, and she is uh, coming back from some parental duties, so she will be here shortly. So uh, before she can get here, we'll we'll just um, we'll chat about what we're working on today. I have a um, Dropbox file that we we're uh, working from. We're we're building a game in Horizon, uh, which is a VR platform. Um, and uh, it is uh, a new platform by Facebook. Um, it's actually built upon uh, Unity, but we don't need Unity installed or anything like that. It's just the underlying engine that's behind the whole thing. So I'm going to be using my Quest uh, headset uh, and the VR platform or the uh, Horizon platform to build some um, games inside of the platform. It's really cool stuff. It's a really unique take on how to develop in, in virtual reality because you're actually using the tools inside of uh, the VR headset in, in the app to actually build things. Uh, so one of the things that we're, we're doing is we're building a game that is inspired by uh, this um, Asian theme that we've got going across uh, a lot of our products. We have the, the Telerik Ninja, the Kendo UI, Kendoka. So we're going to build a game that in, is influenced by those characters and uh, some of the uh, themes that surround them. So we have uh, kind of some pictures that we threw together of things that we'd like to build in our game. And uh, today we're actually going to be doing a duel to build uh, kind of a forest like this one here. So we, we actually have the archways we built on the last show. where We did a duel like this. Um, we're going to have uh, kind of a courtyard type of a feature like this one. So you'll see some of these things blocked out in the, uh, the game that we're building, but it's uh, pretty stark right now. So we're, we're getting to the point where we're building the game assets, and then we'll get into some coding uh, shortly. And Alyssa's here. Welcome, Alyssa. Hey, you added some more inspiration. I like that pillar cake. Uh, yeah, um, your, your microphone is very, very quiet. So I'm thinking maybe you got the wrong source picked. Um, and then, yeah, I love my because Secret Labs chair, by the way. It is <laughs> extremely good on the lower back. That's why I bought it. I had like a cheap $100 chair. Um, and it was just, just brutal on my lower back. I mean, it was killing my lower back. Um, if you're, if you're going to be working from home and sitting a good part of the day, then you need a good chair. So invest mm -hmm. in a good chair. That's all I I'm say. surprised you didn't, uh, invest in a standing desk. I'm at one. Like, now. well, I thought you have like portion of your desk, but not the whole thing. Uh, so I ended up buying a Vera lift, uh, very, very desk lift desk to go on top of my, I have a handmade desk that I built. Mm. So, um, when I built the desk, I wasn't working from home all the time. We were, you know, we were traveling and speaking at events and I wasn't sitting at a desk, uh, you know, eight hours a day, five days a week, and then some. And all of my hobbies take place here, too. So it's like <laughs> spend a good 12 hours behind a yeah. monitor all day in an uncomfortable chair. Your back starts mm -hmm. to hurt. I mean, for back. years, I had the manual like crank standing desk. And I mm -hmm. rarely used it just because it was such a hassle to like change. But um, with this move, we got automatic ones. And we spent the dollars to get the automatic ones. Oh, and I think I stand for like maybe 70% of the day now. So... Yeah. I, I don't know. I think the other thing was a mat. Do you have a mat that you stand on? Like I do. And I wish I would have bought the mat even when I didn't have a standing desk because it's just super comfortable to have. Like, it's Which one do you some, have? I, it's got like balls and ramps and things so you can fiddle do with we it have while you stand. Do we have the same one? Uh, not exactly, but it's very similar. So mine has the two... Um, <laughs> round bits on the outside instead of one in the middle and then it's got like some uh little ramps in the front that like you can massage when i feet first on, so, yeah when i first saw that i was like i just want a flat mat why would anybody want that <laughs> but it really does like encourage you to like move around while you're standing and working and like i think our bodies were made for movement not <laughs> to be stationary yeah i want to see yours yeah. yeah this is what i have so oh yeah is, uh, 
Uh, I, like I think one. yours is. I think yours allows for a wider, wider stance. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that, and it works while you're sitting too. So it has. You got a? Did like you get a haircut, Ed? Area. It looks good. Thank you. I did it myself. I'm getting pretty good at these after a year. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I got done with it. Uh, let's see, was it Monday? I did it Monday afternoon, and uh, my, I walk in. My daughter's like. I thought we weren't going to get haircuts. And I was like, um, I did this myself. She's like, no, come on. I was like, yep, I did it that's myself. The, that's the best compliment. She totally didn't believe me. I was like, if you don't believe me, I said the bathroom is still full of all the hair. So if you want to go in there and check, you're welcome to it, kid. Oh, oh so this person who was saying love it to either your mat or my mat, their name, Quad Venti Soy, I'm, I'm all over that. I'm all over that drink. Like that was, it was, you're, you're almost there. If you add an ice and like a one pump of white mocha, you have my old Starbucks drink. So hello, Moon Gollum. Oh. Hello. I feel so bad. I actually like real coffee. I, I am not, look, this is espresso. I brewed at my house in ice because I like ice espresso. I no longer do the Starbucks thing. All right. I said used to, Ed. Some of us have a past. This is a safe space. <laughs> I, I won't coffee shame you anymore. I promise. <laughs> so um, I'll, so I'll, did I'll you introduce my, uh, the, uh, oh, yeah, you share. My, my latest coffee vendor here. Like, uh, these yes. are not paid sponsors, Seven. by the way. Like, I love um, Delano's. Is another coffee. one that I talk about all the time. This Roasters. one is like so amazing. Um, I love these guys too. Uh, they Where are they make, baked? Do you know? They are a small shop out of Seattle. And um, I have to say, like, I ordered coffee from this place. And no kidding, they roasted it and shipped it to my house in two days. And like, I literally had fresh roasted coffee like two days after it was roasted. And it wasn't terribly expensive. It was about the same price as what you'd pay in the store for any of the proper name brands. So and you like, it's good impressed. flavors? You love it? Oh, my God. It is, like, life-changing. Yeah, it's good stuff. I literally can't wait to, like, have game night with you and your wife just because, um, well, A, I feel like you both would be epic, like, gaming partners. But also, like, um, <laughs> coffee. I just want you to make me coffee. Like, all the coffees. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So, thanks, did you tell everyone so. about the challenge today? Uh, I wanted to, no, I wanted to add a twist to it. Th if you this were is up for it. a work. We have a twist. Awesome. This is what we're building, right? Is this not the uh, exact idea here? Can I get this full screen? Does this full image go? Full yeah, screen? you should be able to click on the image. There we go. Ah. Zoom. And then, yeah, I think that's the most full screen you can that's, do. But that's, that's pretty big. That's gonna get. That's good. So we're going to build some bamboo trees. Is that how hey this is going to work? What is the twist? The uh, twist? Okay, so I wanted you <laughs> to give a primer, because some of us aren't as good as others, of like the most basic functionality you can add to an object with a script. Most script. basic, most basic. And then the challenge is, you and I go off and we build, we have a little bit more time, but there has to be a scripted component, to which is weird. Yeah, food. I know, it's a bamboo. <laughs> I, it might, we might not keep it, but I thought it'd be fun to do design and coding. Like, But I, I do need a primer just because I open up that scripting panel and I kind of go blank. So like, just like the absolute most basic script Ed can think of, I would love that as a primer. So you're gonna make a bamboo forest type environment. Yeah, one of the, so our map has like these different areas, the zones, and one of them was supposed to be bamboo-y, foresty. Like yeah. I think one of the corners. Yeah, definitely. So that's all my- right, all right. <laughs> I'm totally putting you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I am trying to think like what type of scripting thing goes. So, whenever I forest. asked you to show me a like a leaf falling off a tree, mm -hmm. it was like so many steps, and I was so confused because I I was like, no one's interacting with this; it's just happening at random. It shouldn't be that complex. So that's why I was thinking about it. And I was like, I would love for you to show me something that isn't complex, just so I can kind of wrap my brain around 
how this all works, like maybe changing a color or maybe anything on a timer is going to be that complex. Or maybe there's maybe interacting with it is the easiest way because I'm just talking about pure lines on that scripting thing. Like what's the most basic one or two liner or does it not exist? <laughs> I'm just trying to th like that's not the hard part. The hard part is how does this apply to a bamboo tree? <laughs> Like, I picture, like, a bamboo tree being something so static, like, it's just boring and, like, it's there for scenery. Um, um, I mean, we could, we could, we could do it to something else if you wanted. I mean, your bamboo tree could have a little shimmy. I don't know. You gotta, <laughs> hmm. like, when you walk over to it, the, 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 like, you know, the tree goes, <laughs> um, but, sure. like, again, that would, that would be, like, hit like hit target zones and like player interaction i'm just like what is the most basic thing you like, can add the most something? basic thing i think is playing a sound the bad part about the sound part is oh. that the viewers cannot hear the sound mm, okay like because it's like a is it like a one-liner like you just say yeah basically you need a trigger that you're going to step into when the player crosses it, and then that will trigger the sound to play. Um, you can trigger, we did this with um, the butter gun. So when yeah. you you know press the trigger, it shoots confetti because we, we couldn't play a sound because the, the viewers can't hear the sounds on the machine here. Okay. Um, so we could trigger something to play. Um, you said there were new uh, visual effects. Does any, like, have you looked at those yet? Do you know if any? They... They are Apply. all like warp looking effects. So like if you're gonna teleport something, like they're very futuristic looking effects. Oh. <laughs> How do you type yeah, the script so by voice? That's a thing? Uh, I should probably what? pull this up in VR so we can see. So we'll keep, um, we can't keep both screens up. So let's see here. I wish I could share two screens at once. That would be cool, but I can't keep swapping them. So let me pull up Horizon and uh, give me a sec while I change around my microphone and whatnot. So Marcus was asking, how do you type the script by voice? I don't know if that is a feature. Ed can tell us if it is. I know that when you're inside VR, you use your little hand paddles to kind of like drag and drop scripty pieces together and change out variables and even do some typing on this keyboard that appears. So that's the kind of scripting that I've done and seen done in Horizon. Yeah. But it would be, is there a voice type scripting or you just like <laughs> start there talking and not. it? Okay, okay, okay. So there's not a lot of typing involved. A lot of this stuff is like, um, what is that called? Uh, it's scratch. Like Oh, the hmm. scratch programming style. So you drag and drop a lot of things. It uh, it can get very complex though. So don't uh, don't get too um, caught up in the whole drag and drop thing. I think it's going to be too simple because you can get really complex with these scripts. It's pretty amazing what you can do with drag and drop. All right. So here's our our world. Uh, like I said, it's it's pretty blocky. It's got uh, a lot of white blocks everywhere, but that's what we're trying to fix on these shows. We're trying to build some scripts and things, or some assets and things. Um, and there is our red arches that lead us up our bamboo forest that is not built yet. So we need to build some bamboo to go into our forest, right? Sound good? No, I, I love it. Can you look at something? I want to take a screenshot. I, every day uh, I have to take sure. a screenshot to let look at something fix, interesting. Let me fix my microphone first. Okay. So give me <laughs> one second. So if I turn around you, I, and I'm not facing my mic, you can still hear me. Um, I need to go to... There we go. Can you still hear me? Yeah, much better. Okay, good. All right. So you want me to turn and look at, at perfect. Arches maybe. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Uh, Moon Gollum asked, "How long does Facebook take to review?" Um, oh, when you sign up for Facebook Horizons, the beta. Um, Mine. I. Sorry. Go ahead. 
No, I was going to say mine came from you, so I don't think I had. Yeah. Uh, mine took, I think, about two or three weeks, but I don't know how the review process works or anything. And if anything, I typed in the form influenced it or how that all worked. So mm. where did your, oh, your tree went back over there. I yeah, I, I, I think I grouped it moved. all correctly, but I need to double check because my tree okay. was kind of attached to the mountainside. So. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> 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 so as far as scripts go let's build some scripting really quick oh, yes. um show us show us the way let's do the so if we walk through an arch we'll do something visual if we walk through the arch so if we go to gizmos and we grab a trigger because we need to trigger some sort of thing to happen um and then let's see let's grab something visual so we have particle effects that we can we can pull out here. And then if we drag our script onto the walkway, so we can actually run into it with the player. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll just kind of drag. And you remembered here. what I said about simple enough. because you're sounding difficult, mister. <laughs> well, we need to trigger the thing. So that's what the trigger is for. <laughs> Otherwise, the script will never know how to play. And then we need something to actually do. So this is our. Um, this is our effects. So we'll we have the explosion effect. Uh, these are the new ones, by the way. We have oh yeah, these, I want to see uh, vertical lines. Oh, oh. Those kind of go. Can up you and down. rotate the box and it changes to like horizontal lines, or is that not how? Will it? Not? Um, I think these are sprite based. So what that means is they're not actually three D. So if I turn it, let's try. Says yeah, vertical yeah. lines. Oh, they do go horizontal. Okay. So, these, so let me put this on loop. There we go. Hey, so that looks, looks like it's flying now. Um, there's hey, that one. Rex. So Moonbomb asked, is there a grid snap feature when moving objects? Yeah. So Ed Absolutely. loves the grid snap. Right He's like all about it. So it's on your left down, controller. Yeah. Yep. On my left controller, if I hit down, it will highlight the magnet. And then when I drag, come on, let me grab a box and I'll make two of them. And now see the little orange edges on there. These are going to snap to a uh, grid. You can see kind of like these sparkles flying around. Those are the grid points. And then if I have that snap tool on, I can grab the corner of this one. And lock it to that one. So now they're, they're very even together. And you can modify the grid size too, right? Yes. So in my menu on my left hand, I can come into the gear. And under build settings, there are snap um, oh, that's where it is. settings okay. in here. So this one is really helpful because angles get me a lot. So if you grab the angle tool, you could see, see the number of uh, hashes mm, on there. If yeah. I change this much bigger should only have four now Oop. oh Oop. cool oh that's so nice if see simple simple grids simple angles i could totally do but you have yours up to like a thousand <laughs> <laughs> so i've got i usually set it at one centimeter i don't understand okay. the whole zero centimeter thing and i heard there was an, a glitch if you do that it can break your world i don't do know not go down to zero centimeters i remember that i don't know I what the point of zero is anyway i mean if you're snapping at zero are you really snapping anything uh. Uh, so there i keep mine at one um if you go way up i mean it goes pretty pretty far so it's like you can see how big that grid is oh wow that is a big grid that's 10 that, meters that's not even all the way up yeah, that's 25 centimeters. That's pretty comfortable there for like bigger stuff that you might be building. Uh, if you're building detailed stuff like we've been doing, it's uh, about one centimeter is good. Okay. Sorry, from, sorry to derail yeah. you. I know you're talking effects, but no, these was, are great I wanted questions. to show the grid. <laughs> yeah, you can also group like this. Did you ever group. master the group and skew? Tell me you mastered it. I have it. not. Oh, I, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a, a bad hack to me, but some people have good luck with it. Okay. Uh, you can also go into properties and you can edit and modify the group 
in a focused mode. I like this because it grays out everything else. And you can come in and, and change something about the group and it stays grouped. So mm -hmm. now they're they're offset a little bit. So that's pretty cool there. Um, yeah. And if you want to delete, you hold the uh, buttons, press down, and it's gone. All right. So we've got some special effects here. We've got collapse magic. Um, magic collapse. Okay. And then magic build up is just the reverse. What's that one look like? Uh, yeah, I think that one's, yeah, it kind of like sucks in like you're going to get, uh, you know, throw a fireball or something. I don't know. Uh, there's fireworks. That's a new one. Fireworks is a new one. Phew. <laughs> that one goes fast. Oh, so I don't think there's anything in here that controls the speed of these, by the way, they just either fire once or on a loop. You're saying like the duration of the animation yeah like, like you can't how, make how fast it goes faster or start slower, to finish yeah. really that's surprising to me hmm. it would be cool though if we could make like lightning bugs or something like that that would be pretty neat Aww, like sitting back in the forest yeah we we could make the forest <laughs> sparkle oh um, yeah 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 yeah. like back in the I corner think... where you can't walk just have like a little yeah. sparkle effect that'd be so cute so these but only scale. when you walk by let's see can you okay so i'm really curious okay, let me scale up so we can see it really good so few lines can build... you can do this in uh so walk we'll by the sparkles sparkle there yeah, 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 yeah. um so the sparkles will trigger where that box is unless we we write mm -hmm. some crazy script to move it around and so those boxes are not place. visible outside of build mode ever, no. right? No. Yeah. So okay. if we're in game, you cannot see those boxes. Those are invisible. Okay. So what we want to do is walk here and we should see sparkles up the trail, right? <laughs> so we need a script. We're going to need at least three items to do this. I'm so excited. I'm hoping it's more, it's the most basic. All right. Be nice to us, Ed. We're all. <laughs> and this is the, all the typing you'll probably see me do in here. I'm naming it Sparkle Script. <laughs> so we'll we'll make sparkles. This world has started. We we're not going to need. That's like the default thing. Uh, we can erase that. So we'll start from scratch, and then we're going to have uh, two variables. We have um, actually we won't need that one. Well, we'll need this one. We need the special effects. So we need to create a variable for the special effects. So we'll zoom in here. I hit new variable. And we're going to grab an object as our new variable. Uh, and this is going to be our VFX. If it's just a simple script like this, I, you'll, I'll use VFX and SFX for uh, virtual effects or um, special effects and sound effects, uh, visual effects and sound effects, I guess. Um, and then the trigger is going to be self in this scenario. So if you're from JavaScript land, you could think of it like this. Mm. Same idea. Uh, so when a trigger is entered by a player is what we want. So when trigger is entered by an object, when trigger is entered by player, we need that. And then uh, when that event is received, what we need to do is play, uh, wait, this is not, it's not animation, it is particle effects and trails. So under the middle tab, play visual effects. Can and you like really one. quick with the tabs one more time? Um, sure. The, the flag is what? So this one's events, and you can see the word come up here too. Oh, uh, events, I never motion. knew. <laughs> yeah, it has like a hover state if you get close enough. Oh, okay. uh, motion. So this sets things in motion, stops motion, okay. um, pushes, throws, launches, those okay. type of things. Uh, actions, uh, pause, stop animation, play sound, uh, reset the whole world, um, show and hide objects, which can come in super handy. Uh, you can color objects, you can paint them. So you can change the color of an object. Ooh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Enable, disable. I don't know what this is. Set simulated in uh, 
that one I don't know. Set gravity. Um, and set gravity I have not used either. I don't know if that sets it on. I guess it sets it on the object. So that might be fun to play with sometime. Uh, the next one is operators. These are all your logical operators. And these are draggy droppy. So like um, if we have, let's just do debug. Uh, if we put like equals in here, you'll see it come up with two more boxes. So you can say oh. if this is equal to that. Um, and then math works about the same way. So, whoops, I didn't mean to stack them up. You just drag it out and that deletes it? Um, I hit the uh, delete button here. Same oh, as if you're okay. in the world building. Okay. So you can add two uh, items together, two numbers. Uh, so that's how the, the uh, operator blocks work. It will actually give you um, fields to put the variables in. Okay. Uh, there are transformations in here that can be super handy. So you can um, get the position of an object or set position of an object, rotate it, etc. cetera. Uh, you can do some crazy vector math. A lot of these are really advanced things that um, we don't need. There's some color tools here that are super helpful, though. You can create a new color. Uh, you can shade, change colors, scale them over time, types of things like that. Um, player stuff, uh, getting the position of players. Uh, these are all new. I have not used this yet, but arrays are now part of this game engine as well. So there's some array operators in here too. And then the values tab, uh, super helpful set value. Uh, we're going to use that one quite a bit. Um, I, this one is uh, set player persistent that, uh, var is so like if your player, it's like um, permanent state. So think of it like if you're doing web development, like local storage for your, your level. So if you say uh, have a high score and the player comes back to the level, they can see their last high score. So you can oh. actually store uh, player information in your world. Um, and then these are just static value inputs. So if we wanted to debug, uh, say, some text, we could say input string. And then now we have a place to type uh, our, our message. And we'll leave that there just so we can see that trigger go off. And then variables. This is where you create arrays and, and variables to hold values. Because we're going to need to set this particle effect uh, to um, a reference in our script. So when we walk through the block, the game knows how to find that particle effect and play it. So, so I guess the, the hard part for me is understanding the, the difference, like the nuances between when you add like a variable or a reference to our particle mm -hmm. effect in this scripting panel, and when you use that weird cable to like plug it in, mm -hmm. like right. it seems like they're doing the same thing. One's physical, one's typing, and I don't understand when you do which one. So That's the bl the purple script block here, you can think of as like a class. So when you're in like C sharp or 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 um, JavaScript, uh, you have the concept of a class. The class itself doesn't do anything, right? The class needs to be newed up or instantiated to actually be worked with. So you have, you know, you might have a class person. The class of person on its own doesn't do anything until I say uh, new person, and then assign that person to be a variable of Alyssa. Now it is an Alyssa. It is not just a person. So script block is the same way. It is a Sparkle script, but it doesn't have any associ association with any uh, instantiated objects in the world. Mm -hmm. So I have to tie the script to something, and then I have to tell uh, the script where to find the visual effects, which we're going to assign this way, play visual effects on that object. So in order for the script to know where that object is, we have to tell it how to find it and we'll do that with those cables so okay. if i go uh let's see if i can leave this. <laughs> we have a disembodied hand in chat <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh i know who that yeah. is i know who so that is that's a troublemaker Tech, as tech consulting said whenever you're talking about persistent state the main facebook hub page has boomerang game that shows the previous high score 
Um, yes, and then the disembodied correct. hand said that an action arrives to point you in the right direction. Is he making hand jokes? I think he's making. Hand I think jokes. so. This is uh, this is uh, <laughs> Layla codes it uh, and uh, her friend the disembodied hand trolling us. This is good stuff. <laughs> um, so we have our trigger, and our trigger is where we're going to attach the script. So right now, if I look at the trigger, you see it doesn't have any other properties. Uh, it just has this attached script in a dropdown. So if I click on it and I click sparkles, uh, this is now the trigger to trigger the sparkles visual effects. So you and don't have to plug has, it in. Um, it is the trigger is self in this scenario, which is kind of like this in uh, JavaScript. Um, so it, uh, we don't need to define the trigger. What we do need to define is the visual effects it has to play. So right now you can see it's assigned to none. So we need to reference that, uh, block up there. So what we need to do is come to this block, pull up its properties. Now this is our, uh, sparkle block and we need to take a reference to the sparkles and plug it into here. And now you can see it's prototype particle effects. Cool. It's, yeah, I, it's just weird that you have to do both to me. I feel like <laughs> saying attached script sparkles, it should go in the world, find out who sparkles is and make that wire connection without it actually visually being connected. I just don't. This is abstract, though. It doesn't have any um, attachment to, to those things, right? Yeah, yeah. because I may have more than one of these that I want to assign to other variables. Do if you have hard -coded to attach it into... for it to work? No. Yes. 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 Crap. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I, I I could show a more scaled version of this later in my uh, mm. ski ball game that I have. Yeah. Where I have I have one target script, and then I have many many targets that uh, attach to different things to do um, different scoring values, and you can even set them to like negative if you wanted uh, to make them like pull the score down if you hit the target. So the targets are very generic, but they're all the same script. They just have different references to things. Okay. So if we close these, get them out of our way, and we go into the game world, now you don't see those blocks hanging around. And uh, we're going to walk up. And as soon as we enter our, our invisible right. block, we have sparkles. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Can you show me the 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 connections again? The the wires. So okay. script is so, off over by itself. Yep. This so has in, no reference to and anything. And it's named Sparkle Script. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your trigger box, and he has an attached script of sparkles. So that's where the connection is made to the functionality, right? Like that mm -hmm. drop down. Yep. And then the physical connection, the wire going into the effect is what's letting the trigger know what effect I'm talking about to fire? Yep. So or it's letting this function know? Yeah, show me your function again. Let me see. Trigger event with player play visual effect. Okay. Something went wrong in the universe. It won't let <laughs> me touch stuff. <laughs> it wasn't responding to my touches. There we go. All right. So the script, we have a variable called VFX. We have to tell the script where to find that. So do you we do that by dragging make, a reference in. Would you think it would make more sense to name the script visual effects script or visual effects on enter script? And then you could add visual effects on enter to any trigger box and they could each have their own visual effect or no, this yeah, script yeah. is tied to sparkle. No, it is not tied to sparkles. It's not tied to sparkles. Be... Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think I'm getting it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, Moon Golem, is there that. a free form shape or is it all primitive shapes? It is all primitive shapes, my friend. I wish there was something a little bit more uh, free form, but it is, uh, there's no splines or anything like that. It is all, these 15 shapes are what you get. Uh, you need to be creative with them.
<laughs> which makes it so fun right it like, does make it fun challenge that's it the, does make you know it using fun. this like he built these beautiful archways with just those and if you can go show our trees in a minute we built some trees and ed created a temple so it's fun it's fun to see what you can make with just those shapes i like ed. some people have made some really cool stuff yeah um, maybe we should show like a really cool level in a, in a little bit to, i would love that like, I would one that's love not to, mine i would love to be inspired <laughs> like there there's one game in particular in here i can think of that is just phenomenal for what what's, tools what's we game? have here what's uh, the game let's let's take a look yeah so, let me see if i can find it real quick um so quad venti soy do you know offhand if this works just as well as wmr headsets i don't know what that is do you know what that is i do not know what that is i'm gonna google it real quick wmr headsets uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Windows mixed reality. Oh, oh. Uh, so like a um, what is the name of that one? Oh, you told me in the chat, and I'm like, Herka Durka. <laughs> yeah, like I'm trying to Samsung remember the name. Odyssey Plus. Okay. Yeah, HP. HP uh, has one as well. The have you ever Packer, Have you ever used um, one of those? I have not. I have not either. used those. So let's see. Let me try to find these, this level. It's probably going to be under popular. Um, Silicon Orchid, hi. Hi, he said, hey, both of you. With your headset, do you find that you need to keep text in the very center of your vision to be able to read it properly? No. Um, it might, like, at least yeah, for me. Yeah, I know it, what they're talking whenever about. Are, do you? Because, like, I usually... I don't have that issue, but I, I've adjusted like the I the what do you call those? The lenses. So everything's pretty clear. What what are you what are you talking about, Ed? You said you know what uh, the peripherals about. of your vision are pretty poor as far as text goes. It has to be pretty big. Like you're not gonna sit and like code on your desktop type of thing. It's okay. not that, that good who's for reading. actually reading Where like this? this? Like who's um, doing that? Like no one's so, doing that. <laughs> with, with the Quest Two, I've I've heard like it's um, actually pretty easy to get in there and like do normal work. Um, the the Quest that I have, the graphics are not that sharp. Oh. Come on, why can't I find this? Like the feature got really small. There is just a fantastic level in here. If mm, I can get it to come mm -hmm, up, and it's mm -hmm. being very slow today. Uh, they changed their search, so it's not working like it used to. Mm -hmm. well, I guess we won't be able to see unless. What was it? What was it called? Do you um, it had something to do with dragons. That's all I can remember. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can find it. One more second. Silicon here. Orchid said, "I've been doing a lot of flight sim, flight sim, flight sim." <laughs> He's been doing a lot of flight sim recently, and I find I have to swivel my entire head around a fair bit in order to read the various buttons. I see. That's why he was curious. I like I've played quite a few games and I haven't had that issue like with like reading things. But I don't I don't know. Ed, do you find yourself like struggling to like you have to recenter to read things? Yes, uh, it depends on the app or game. Um, they they can be pretty hard to to look at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they need to work on their search. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Maybe this will work. There, there's one in here that you're you'd be so surprised as to how detailed this world is. I could just find it. I know it's not super yeah. exciting. Watch me pan through all these, but. Aztec Trust Consulting it. said that it's better in Quest 2. So yeah, that's what, yeah. that's what Ed had mentioned earlier. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth me upgrading, but um, I would like to have a Quest 2 to check it out to see how much better it is. This is... They might have removed that world for some reason. It does not seem to be coming up. It's not like there's a ton of content in here just yet. So I should have panned through it by now. There's there's one like 
somebody made a game with these dragons and you put your hand inside like a puppet and like you can control these flying dragons. Oh my God. Fun. And the, the graphics on it were just insanely good for what you have to work with. And it does not seem to be coming Moon up. Gollum said, what is the most complex world in Horizons scripting wise? This one sounds pretty complex. When you yeah, were typing, the one I was trying to find, it's, it's not. When you were typing there, dragons, but... there was a couple of dragon pictures that popped up, but then as you completed it, they went away. So I wonder if maybe a partial search. Yes. Oh, Quad Venti Soy was answering Silicon saying that some games are worse coded for text and GPU scaling settings can help if your GPU can take it. Plus one for flight sim and VR. In the future, headsets with, I don't even know what that word is, foveated rendering from built-in eye trackers should help. It's the early adopters dilemma. I wish it would show like things I've favorited because I've favorited those items too. <laughs> But I do not see them. Okay, I'm gonna that's, I'm gonna uh, get the game spun up. So I'll I'll show my world while you jump in here real quick. Do um, it. Let's see where is there we go. Mark. So you can see what what a more complete level looks like. And I don't know if I'll be, I don't know if I have the room to play ski ball in this, but I'll try without punching things. I broke a cup of coffee the other day doing this. <laughs> <laughs> like I have, I still need to clean my controller. I punched yeah. through a, a coffee mug with my controller playing ski ball. So there are hazards with uh, using this. And I, I do have a hard out at about one, uh, 120. So I don't know how we're doing on time, but. It's eleven nineteen. I don't okay, know. Okay, I think that's plenty of time then. Okay. Okay. So this <laughs> well, you is you talk uh, in different times. <laughs> yeah. So so it's twelve something my time. Okay. Uh, so this is more of a completed level. It's yeah. not all the way done yet, but um, you could at least tell. Like the question was about primitive shapes. Yes, you have primitive shapes, but you can build. You can build more um, detailed things than you might expect with those primitive shapes. So this is uh, the current state of this world that I've been building. And you can do things like this where I've got a skee-ball game. And uh, you can play skee-ball. And uh, it's keeping track of my score and how many balls I have left. And I, I'm always really bad at this on stream. But uh, it will score these balls, by the way, if I can get one in. Uh, but this, this is uh, more complete. It's got sound effects that you can't hear. It's got visual effects that play if you can actually score something, which I can't. <laughs> there it goes. There's, hey, there have, go. you, I got one. Yes. have you have you tested like publishing something to like Horizon so others can play it? Do you know like how long that takes? Uh, I think it's pretty immediate. Like I'm getting ready to put this one up as a beta, which is nice. You can mark that it's a beta test, so it's um, so people can go in there and and play it and try it out without. That's cool. You know, so they don't I dump on it, might, it and think it's garbage. Yeah. I thought it might take a while for like review or something. Uh... I have not seen any review yet, but it is a closed beta, so that may change. So Moon Golem um, asked you, have you ever tried? building things in rec room is that I a have not is um, that a, another app or is that within for Horizon? some reason i i didn't tr give probably a fair shake to rec room but when i i got into rec room um i don't know something with the graphics really turned me off and i ended up bailing on it pretty quickly it, some of these uh vr things if they have really poor cartoon graphics they make me nauseated Mm. And that one I was in for probably 10 minutes and I was done. Uh, something to do with like just the way they do the Which shading in the world or something. And I was it's out. It's impressive because you play a lot. So if yeah, it's, you get sick from it, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot to make me, make yeah. me nauseated. Moon, uh, so. Moon said that Rec Room's a game that honestly is very similar to Horizons. Oh, cool. 
It is very um, similar from what I've heard. And I tried it and I, I just couldn't stomach it. Is it out of beta? Like, can anybody join it? Yeah, I think Rec Room's just okay. available to, to get in. So I don't know how was... the building and stuff happens in that one, though. Hmm. Silicon was clarifying that um, with the text, it's not a problem with a lot of VR stuff, but he just noticed that Ed's working with a lot of relatively small text. So. Yeah, so in this, uh, if you pull up a menu, oops, wrong one. Especially on the, script, the scripting stuff, those are... Um, it's not hard to read if I have it big like this. So if I grab a script block, for example, uh, this is pretty big. If I bring it down to about there, it's blurry for me. I can't read any of that. So I have to grab mm -hmm. it and really zoom in Take on it to, you know, I do a lot of this, like where I'm looking back and forth to read very detailed things. Uh, it's not great. It's not great. Yeah, Moon was saying that in Rec Room, there's a thing called a uh, maker pen. So the mm, creation okay. tools are easy to learn. That's cool. Yeah, there's tutorials in this as well. So if you go back to the main menu. Um, oh, there, there are, are there. <laughs> there is a tutorial oh, yeah. tab tutorial right tab. there. If you click on that, there's one called Scripting Basics that you can go through. And it teaches you how to build uh, some very simple script tools. Um, and then there's one that has samples of uh, pretty much like the basic building blocks of most things, like how yeah. to scale an object, how to change its color, how to teleport it, how to do X, Y, and Z. And it's like um, kind of like a little gallery. And uh, these are worlds that basically just adds to your uh, collection of uh, worlds that you're creating in here. And um, you can go in and, and edit those. So, would you say that you've learned most of your scripting knowledge from watching other people like stream and do things, or would, like through tutorials? Uh, a little bit of both. There's some really good um, YouTubers that are part of this. Um, mm -hmm. There's a Facebook channel. Uh, what do you call it? In in like Facebook itself, and there's some folks in there, and then. I'm in the wrong, the menu's got me nuts in this. Hang on. There we go. So there is on YouTube, uh, there's this as well. There's a scripting office hours every Tuesday. Oh, cool. Uh, every Tuesday night. Um, let's see if I can find it. In Look at here. your long list of friends. <laughs> so there's 74 people that are going to go to that wow event. so it's have you been popular. to have you gone to an office hours with that many people uh yes so i think are they the all rooms, walking around how do, how does i think the work? rooms cap at 20 people right now so what they do is oh. after 20 people enter it rolls over to a new room and I then they see. try to have community uh guides in each room to talk about scripting and what you want to learn and then people uh. break up into groups of four and then go collaborate cool Okay, uh, let's see. You ready? So, you ready to yeah, put up the wall? Let's do some building. Let's do some building. Um, so we're going to build the bamboos, right? Yeah, and we don't we have to do, do this. script? Or? We don't have to do the scripting challenge. We can do it uh, next time if you can think of some, like a building challenge that would make more sense. I just thought it'd be fun to, yeah, we to should add do that like, twist. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> like we're gonna do like a koi pond and stuff, and maybe a koi pond like that has fish swimming oh, or something like yeah. that might be cool. That would be or... cute. Okay, yeah, right. let's do that next week. Let's do it next week. Ooh, okay. You're, Are you? You're, you're saying I'm not gonna be ready? <laughs> <laughs> you're script. ready for a challenge, huh? <laughs> so let's put a little divider. Hey, oh, I just saw you, you know teleport you're in. Get smoked. Like, Hello, Alyssa. this is Alyssa. <laughs> face is really scary people can't see what i just did they're, they're seeing it from my point of view so there's Here, I'll, I'll mimic it i'll mimic what yeah. you did hello <laughs> when the other person's in build mode they when they scale they show up at the scale that they are so if we're both here like this and i'm scaled really big or like huge like giants what is that so, oh it's a wall <laughs> so i'm gonna be on 
one side of the wall. You're going to be on the other. And we're going to build some bamboos. <laughs> Goodbye, darling, Ed. What's the plural of bamboos? Is it bamboo? Bambi. Bambi? <laughs> bamboos? Don't hate me, chat. <laughs> There's a question so, about have you looked into any of this Microsoft Mesh stuff, VR collaboration? They just announced it recently. I have not. So Mesh is um, an extension of their like social networking for office type of thing, I believe. And they've got like if you create some content in mesh it will like show up in vr somehow i haven't really investigated that too much so we are going to build bamboo and i you cannot see what i'm seeing right now but i'm looking at the bamboo so bamboos are very bamboo oh, bamboos are you, getting inspiration? are you like yeah. are you looking at inspo they're very tall and very skinny <laughs> Thank so you. I don't know how much of a challenge this will be, um, but well. we're, we're going to build some of these. Um, where's the leafy parts of a bamboo? Like, are they at the tops? Like, I'm not too familiar with the plant. Like, I see leaves in the picture. I, but think, they're, I think they're all throughout. Like are a they? Different, I don't know. The I'm picture I'm looking are. at, there's not like a whole are lot they... of... Fully. There's not a lot of leaf action going on. They're just they're just kind of like call big it, rods. Call it leaf action. Yeah, they are kind of like big rods of green. So essentially, we're going to make a green tube and call it a day. Uh, <laughs> I need to look at some more photos or something. Oh, ye, Ed. Okay, let's see. How did the branches... Oh, wait, I think that one had... Is that actually okay. round? Let's see. So I guess they do have some shoots that come out and there's some leaves on them. Most of them are I'm gonna come over the bottom, and back you with top. I'm I'm in my desktop looking at bamboo pictures. So Oh, so they can't see me I can't as see. I bap you with this. You didn't go get the butter gun, did you? Oh. No. I'm hitting you with my <laughs> soon to be what bamboo. The bamboo. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So are we putting a time limit on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I zoom back down here. All right, so bamboo. Wanted you to know. I, uh, you're tall. going down, man. You're going down. Uh, let's see. It is on my screen. Twenty six after. Okay. Um, let's go. What do we want to do? Uh, five minutes. Uh, Six minutes. Uh, whatever you want, man. I'm gonna uh, whoop your butt see. no matter what. Bam. Let's. Let's Back go to 32 up. after. I don't think we need a long time for this one. This seems okay. very basic to me. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, good? let's do it. All right. Six minutes. Let's do it. 32 after is what we're aiming for. Our clock is down here at the bottom chat room, by the way. So we're going to build a bamboo. And I'm going to start with this because I know when I stretch this, it is going to give me that shape that I want and if I shrink um, and we have some references here to uh, how tall something is too I don't think bamboo are very thick they're, they're pretty narrow rods so if we do this and kind of way up like that then um, we can kind of build a bamboo stalk still think it needs to be a tad bit skinnier try to grab and reduce this down a little bit. So there we go. Uh, and then what we'll probably do is make one of these. And I don't want to give away too much. But we'll probably make one of these and, and do some copying and cloning. So I think that's good. Uh, might need to be a little taller, actually. A little bit taller. Uh, and then we'll, we'll drop another one in for a base, too. So give it a little, little root system here. Down like that. That'll give it some uh padding between the actual world and um <laughs> the, where it's planted so to speak <laughs> are we okay over there Alyssa? i'm getting down to my bamboo rhythm <laughs> are you shaking your bamboo tea <laughs> shall we shall we do puns 
<laughs> I'm so excited. Seriously, I love these challenges, even when I epically fail. <laughs> uh, so we, we need to add some texture. There is no, um, what do you call it? There is no texture in this. We only have solid colors. So texture comes from literally adding uh, more shape to an object. It's very physical, the texture part. Um, trying to get a good bamboo color too. There we go. I think that's a pretty good one. Oh no, coloring everything. So we'll mm -hmm. do something like that. Maybe this needs to be like some dirt pile. Like, oh, little root system. No, there we go. So we got that. And then let's grab mm -hmm. like this. And this is going to get really small. Mm -hmm. So we'll shrink that way down. And we'll grab the center uh, marker and we'll bring that in and align that with the center. And then we'll try to reduce this down again, kind of match this up. And that should be, there we go. That gives it like that ring effect, that, that little ring texture that's in a bamboo plant. And then uh, let's see if we grab this again and gonna make sure I select the right element here. This is the hard part. It's getting these to select sometimes when they're overlapping. And then I'm gonna take this and we'll grab it and drag up and copy it and we'll let that go. And then I'll make some successive copies I'm wearing no oh, let's undo that so that's what I want to do but I think I'm gonna to have to start at the middle because the bottom size too small um, let's make one copy we'll go up to the middle of this thing zoom out here it needs to be bigger so we'll zoom outward and should be able to find a good center point here. Center. There we go. Alignment tools there. Now I can line this up a little bit better and we'll shrink to fit there. Now I've got that. Um, I think I want to actually make this a tiny, tiny bit bigger as well. Because once it's up to a certain height in the air, I don't think you're going to see it so well. Let's try this again. Did that make it bigger? I don't want to make it too big. I don't want it to make it look like a big fat record. Uh, let's take off the um, snapping for a sec. There we go. That did the trick. So then we can grab the center point and bring it back over here. Lock it in like that. And then if I look from the ground, there we go. I can still see it. So that, that little added thickness helped a lot. Uh, now I can grab my shape. And I should be able to replicate the shape. I want to grab the top axis here. There we go. That's mm -hmm. better. So we'll do one of these every couple feet here and then I can hit the ray button like that and then I need to do the same in the reverse direction and we are at time Alyssa are you no! ready to do this one more minute one more minute I will give you one more minute one more minute <laughs> and no laughing <laughs> there we go that's that's bamboo does need some leaves i think but uh other than that that's about as bamboo as it gets so while this is finishing up i will try that's to... about as bamboo as it gets <laughs> um we should probably do a little little group action here to make sure we can get this all in one And then we can uh, group that by pressing to the left. And then we can, come on, come, come, 
Come on. Play nice. There we go. So if we do this, we should be able to scale our bamboos. Um, that made it really fat. Let's make it skinnier. There we go. So now I keep saying bamboos as if like that is literally the plural of it. <laughs> it's gotta be, right? I like bambi. I think you, you had it at bambi. Bambi. That seems to be the correct terminology there. Maybe it's like Bambis, like mice and mouse. <laughs> Is that Bambi? Have you ever seen yeah. the show Better Off Ted? Yes, yes, I have. Oh, the opening of that show is fantastic like the first episode they're like we need a fire resistant mouse and she, he's like i'll do it she leaves the room and comes back and he's like that mouse was that uh like computer mouse or regular mouse <laughs> it's like the best you show see, that show was so funny didn't they like cancel it or it stopped they i don't know did. It, was... It, it was too early they let go of that too early it was too much fun all right, whenever well, you're ready, well I'm doing oh, okay. tweaks, but I can tweak all day. Okay. So. I think I'm I'm good. I may want to add some leaves to Ooh. this later, but I think like the general structure is done. Like it needs some foliage, but I don't really have a reference as to how those sprout. I'm just gonna bring my bamboo over to you. Let's see what we <laughs> Ooh, look at all of your bamboo. There we go. Making some ground. Oh my God, yours is so cute! Oh my God, <laughs> yours is so cute. Oh my God, hang on, I've got to zoom in on yours. <gasps> Look at how cute it is. He's a little bit, bit, bit. Oh my God. You've got like leaves. Very... <laughs> I like your leaves. Oh, sorry, I never See, clean that up for myself. Delete. No, wait, don't no, delete. No. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna, undo, undo. I'm There's gonna steal. Here. I'm gonna yeah, steal. you have these. Um, so we need I to collaborate on these. These like, little plumps on the bottom, I love those. That's perfect. That way you don't have to have a big massive ground plump. That's so perfect. Those leaves are epic. I like the leaves so much. <laughs> like I want to take these and like stick them like, all over my plant. Like you're this is the, the part. Your bamboo is so adorable. <laughs> this is the part I was struggling with those. Like how am I going to do leaves? Like that's the hard part here. You like nailed it. Like this is awesome. Like I can just jam these up on my my little bamboo. What plants. shape is this? Because it kind of comes to a taper. Did you did you put yeah, two shapes so, together? So no, actually, all I did is I grabbed the the um. What do you want to call oh. this? The uh, I call it the marshmallow because I the looks marshmallow. Like a marshmallow. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Darker. You can't really see it uh, up against this white background over here, but it's kind of like a. It's a sphere, but it's kind of like mushed. Or it's, yeah. Maybe it's a cube with rounded corners. And if you grab this guy and stretch him out, see how it makes like that. Yeah, that at tube? the top. I love that. And then you go really, whoops, I copied it. You squish him down like that and it gets elongated. And then you can make like those tubular shapes like that. And then. You just said uh, tubular. <laughs> the little rings on here are just circles. And. And you did it again. You did it again, Alyssa. Like these, like just because they're um, they're going around what? Like, uh, a tube. Like you, you're always so literal. I love it. Like the oh, you use a oh tube my God. to okay. go around the outside. Show me how you did yours. Like give me a close so, up. I'm out, off cam, so I I'm watching your screen. So uh, <laughs> I'm always if, so literal. If the two shapes, yeah. Like you've got like you're trying to match like a tube up with the circle. I love it. Um, if you zoom in on this one, uh, these are just very simple. Oh, it's a group within a group. Let's do another group here. And I grab. This. Oh, people! People googled it. Do you want to know the plural? They totally yes. looked it up for us. Bamboos. It is bamboos. I was right. Look at that. What do you know? I'm a regular botanist here. 
bamboos. <laughs> so it's just a circle. It's just a ring. Although Silicon says it? the doc I read said it's generally just bamboo unless you're talking about different types of bamboo. Good to oh, know. Like trivia. people like people's like people. you know that, right? Yeah. That is really a legit okay. word. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you've got the ring and it's not hollow. No. I get it. You it's... don't like hollow shapes, okay? Well, so <laughs> this isn't as much of an issue with game Dang engines it, anymore. Um... But uh, when I, I did this back in, in the day with um, like the Half-Life, original Half-Life engine, if, if you added a shape like this tube, uh, here, I'll do it with some more basic shapes here. So here, this is regular box. This is a circle. Uh, this is a tube. Um, this has, uh, this has, trying to remember how many triangles to it. So this shape is actually made of two times, um, is it 16 triangles? Right? Six, no, 12. 12 triangles. So the game has to draw 12 triangles to make up this box, right? There's one on okay. each, two on each face. Triangle, triangle. Okay. Triangle. And you're saying that everything in games comes down to triangles because that's like yes. not a commonly known thing. Uh, so something like a circle has a lot. And you can almost see them here. Like you could see like a point and a point. And there's probably two triangles there. Depends on the radius of the shape. It's going to draw more the bigger it gets. Uh, if I go smaller, you can see them a little bit more defined. It's probably easier if it's a different color. Let's color this different. Darker. So now you can see the edges a little more defined. So you can see the actual oh. vertices there. So there's probably two triangles per side there. So you got one, Wha two, three. Do you understand four, why five, it all comes down six, to triangles? Seven, eight, nine, 10, why? 11, 12, 13 times two, 26 triangles for, for that shape. So if I hollow that shape. Yeah. Now it's 26 on the outside and 26 on the inside. So now I've doubled the amount of triangles I need to draw. You're that. saying negative space doesn't really exist? It's not that this negative space doesn't exist. It's, it has more faces. So this oh. doesn't have the internal faces. This one does. So this one has all the faces on the outside and now has all oh. the faces on the inside. So now I've more than doubled the amount of rendering that it needs to take to make I did, this hollow I had no shape. idea. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what game engines will do sometimes is if uh, I look at the shape and I can't see the inside, it will do something called occlusion. It will only draw what I see on the outside and not the inside. So it mm. does some more modern engines, it doesn't really matter as much. So okay. wh whenever I'm looking out like this, it's only drawing the faces I see. That was not always the case in older game engines, so you had to be very cognizant of how many what shapes you, you're putting what down. shapes you were doing. Okay. So I've gotten really good at recognizing, you know, if it if you don't need the shapes, then use the minimal amount no, of shapes. No, I love that. And you're right. Like, I was being very literal. <laughs> <laughs> so if nobody's ever going to see the inside of something, then it's better to just ignore it and not draw it at all. Okay. A good rule of thumb, even though the game engines these days generally eject stuff like that, it could add to your overall budget. Which there are budget mm -hmm. tools in uh, this uh, game system here. <laughs> very As Tech Consulting said, she wanted to put a ring on it. <sighs> I know, I'm too I like it. I, I like it. <laughs> Where is the budget? Oh, here it is budget. world details capacity. So eventually, uh, this geometric complexity, um, yeah. the geometric complexity of a square is a magnitude less than uh, this. This is probably this and this are probably two most complex shapes in the game. So wow. the less you use these and the more you I... use these, uh, the, the simplest is probably this one. This has the least number of faces. Because this is half of a cube. So if I grab this and make two of them. 
I had no there, idea. There's our cube. Uh, <laughs> I see. There's I had no idea. It's. Do you understand why it all comes yes. down to triangles? Why triangles? Uh, why not so circles? Triangles are, for one, um, it's the least amount of sides that or points that you need to draw a shape. So if I have two points, I have a line. Why do points matter? Uh, the vertices are what um, your uh, your data that you're actually going uh, to, to create the shape. So okay. I have I have an x y coordinate that makes or an x y z coordinate in a three D sense that mm. makes up this point, and then when I that point on its own is nothing. Uh, if I add another point, then it's a line. If I add another point and fill in the space between the three points, I have a side. I have a face. So I have my triangle. Now, a triangle is the very simplest shape that you can create because of that, those three points filled in the middle. So if I use this uh, shape multiple times, enough that you don't notice the edges, then it becomes a circle. So if I right. color this in, again, it's easier to see on a dark and light surface here. If I hold this, you think you up, can see the the edges of it? Um, if you look at it just right, you might be able to see them. So that I mean, there's there's points everywhere in this. They're they're all around. Uh, it's pretty hard to see in this actually. Uh, so they've got good shading. It, it's mind blowing how many triangles are used to make modern AAA games. What's an AAA game? Triple A is like uh, one of your like high end um, like studio games. So right there, you can see you can see the points on that. Right there, one, two, three, four, five, six. See the points on it? Yeah. But when you start shading it, they they you know give it that. 3D effect, so it's not as obvious. <laughs> oh. they're, they're all triangles there. <laughs> when you turn it like that, yeah, that's funny. Yep. Okay, well, cool. I totally learned something today. I will stop making hollow objects. <laughs> <laughs> the tubes. The These tubes. remind me of something else. These look a lot like uh, like a, a reed, like a water reed. Mm. <laughs> They look good. I, I love the leaves. I stole the leaves. So like um, this is uh I think we both win <laughs> this one. We uh if I can get I'm so excited about the koi pond one. I am so excited. Although you have a lot of experience building water. So it's yeah, gonna water's be tricky in this. A little um a little little leaning towards Unfair your way. <laughs> Uh, I'm totally going to take these leaves, though, and, like, we need to figure out <laughs> how, like, the, these things sprout. I think they need, like, some little branches, and I feel like I'm going to run into something. Like, where am I in the real world? Oh, yeah. You look fine. I mean, yeah, I guess far back. But... I was about to back into... Uh, okay. I can't my, tell uh, depth on your camera. I'm like, you look, you look good. You look fine. Yeah, no. so, like, <laughs> we, can make, we can make good stuff together, because... I, I know! The leaves are just to totally awesome. Like these are the what coolest a, little leaves, and you got like some colors you, in there. What time did you say you had to run? I don't want to make uh, sure we're, we're at we're at twelve forty eight. Yeah, I've got about another fifteen twenty. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so with these, I'm wondering. So this is another. You, instance here where i'd probably take like maybe not a full tube but just like a little square for a branch and turn off this snapping here um, because you're you're not really going to see i don't think uh the full what like, shape it is shape um, it is if it's really small i might take this and use that to make a branch okay okay and then take the leaves and like attach them to the branch like that oops Copying the crap out of it. There. And then uh, we want to take the color 
and just apply it down there. Okay, and then how did you steal the color? Show us how you stole the color. See, when you're standing at a distance, you don't really see that that it's, that it's a square stick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you want to steal colors, uh, you take your paintbrush in paintbrush yeah. mode and yeah, put yeah. it into the object and see it turn oh, into an eyedropper. Oh, color picker. You tap left, oh, and then up. boom, there's my, my color. You and your cheats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Wait, pulling up bamboo pictures right now because I need to, I need to know what did their sprouts do? How do they sprout? Oh yeah. They're like really thin. Like the, the branch that they come off of. Oh, well, some of them. Yeah. Some of them do have like these little like sprouty things on the side, which uh -huh, you use your, uh -huh. your leaves for like. And scale them it kind of looks like the end of some of the tubes just turns into the leaf. So, and then a, it looks like a different type of bamboo has the thin branches like yours, but they're even thinner. So, even thinner. <laughs> even thinner. <laughs> so you're saying like some of them kind of do this number uh -huh. at the top? Yeah, come out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep grabbing the whole <laughs> stick and I know the that's like that's the once you have a group of things, it's like instead of an item you're working with. There we go. Okay. Nope. With your little your little hand like icon, it looks like you're like petting the leaf. Like here you go, you stay right here, leaf. <laughs> so some of these need to. What I like is you could create like some of the leaves and reuse them like this and like resize them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at something. his little hat. He, he reminds me of a bird with like a little. <laughs> yeah, so we could use these like that mm. and then you can like copy and paste them around. And like what I like to do is make, um, make like a set like this. And that actually looks really good. I like that. Like you helped me so much with that the leaf because that's where I was struggling. I was like, I'm going to add them later because I don't know what to do right now. So what I did in my other map that I'm building is I will take a group like this and then create several of them like this. So um, let's pretend this one's completely done. We'll group it all together. Uh, I'm getting something else in this. What am I getting? Am I getting? Oh, Sorry, I push. hopped over to Twitch to block that. To block that bot. Oh, we had a bot. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the bounding boxes on this are just fun. Look at that. <laughs> so weird looking. So what I would do with this is, like, when I'm satisfied with it, I would take it and make, like, a copy of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then change like a couple of the branches around and rotate it and then like and, keep morphing yeah. until you have a forest yeah so I, i'll create like maybe four or five of these and then just start copying between and i also think five. like we should change like the stock of like a couple you know like just randomly like mm -hmm. it has a darker stock but yeah i am so excited about this i cannot wait to have the face off next week with the, the koi pond i hope that you give us more time because water and i want to add an effect twist so that'd be fun yeah so we'll we'll keep adding to these like and make them and then keep your keep your reeds i think those would look good in some water mm. those look like good little water reeds. Where, on our pond or on our map can you show me real quick where the different zones we decided on so we've yeah, got so we've got there. a pond in front of our temple which will be here. Here we can even make that a little bit more. That's pond. Okay. To what that is. This is the pond. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. That will be our pond. <laughs> um. This will be our Zen garden. Well, do so you know thinking, like, what Zen garden means? Like there are sand yeah. ones, but there's also rock or even sand. Sand. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And then we could do like a like there's like a little like temple-y looking thing or not temple what is it shrine so we can do like a little shrine mm. in here so the shrine if i remember right looked kind of something like this and then 
I'm like pop another box here. And You're talking about that pillar guy. thing that I yeah, like. Yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, maybe shrink him down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Grab the middle, mm -hmm. and then do another one, and stretch him way up, and then shrink him down a little bit, and grab the middle. And yeah. There we have a pillar. Silicon asked, um, "Could you turn this clump of bamboo into a prefab and use your scripting to place a bunch of them around the area?" Scripting, no. Unfortunately, like it doesn't. Um, there's no clone in scripting. So you can't create new objects that aren't instantiated. So you have to physically create them. So you can't have it spawning random things around. But what you can do... Um, you just have it off the map then if you want to make it look like it comes into existence. What you could do is just, like we said, like make like a, a section of them and like... Um, I'm trying to think, like what's the easiest way to show this? So what I would do is create, like, pretend this is a a block of trees. Or here, I'll just go to my other map. I do it in here. I was so going to say, go what about, like, a bullet? Like, if you're firing a bullet from your gun, where is that bullet coming from? Uh, just like our butter gun, there's only one bullet. So you, right, but, you'd have, but you where, have to But is it in the gun, bullet. or is it below it's the in the world. It, yeah, you could put it below. So in our world, our butter gun... If you didn't catch butter the butter gun. gun. So there, there's their, our bullet right there. So yeah. you're saying when yeah. you shoot it, it disappears from the table yep. and then it goes. Oh, it does. So it does. Yeah, everything <laughs> has to be physically in the world when it starts. I'm sorry. You got to show the birds again. You got to show them again. They're so funny. <laughs> they distract me. <laughs> so you can't uh you can't create objects that aren't already in the world. I think they do that for memory reasons. You don't. Um, can't because there's that that budget yeah that we showed so if so that you can't like get yourself budget, into trouble while playing yeah. the game yeah if you're spawning items you're gonna go past that budget so that you can't really budget it that way okay he uh, said gotcha so, thanks that, yeah. that makes a lot of sense so um yeah here's our angry wait. birds they're angry because they have eyebrows <laughs> they so uh, can we say angry birds they are uh, emotionally <laughs> disturbed birds yeah disgruntled and then we have our, our gun that has... And then uh, when he shoots them, they fall over. <laughs> I don't want to pick on you, Alyssa, but you took like six months to hit the birds. They like, Okay, I'm sorry. Pee. But your bullet is so tiny, all right? You got like the world's smallest bullet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so fun. When we do the run through of the map, I'm so taking butter gun in. I know we'll have a cooler gun, but... <laughs> Yeah, we need to work on that sometime. But uh, yeah. Got, uh, so our trees. Um, if we want to look at like how to do some like assets real quick, uh, this is what we should probably do uh, either offline or on another show. Are you talking about where we create like a little library off to the side because it's getting a bit? Yeah. Nutty? Here, let's do that. Like what yeah. we do is I take a square yeah. and I'll shove it off camera. Where do you shove and, that square? Oh. Uh, off camera is a family <laughs> show, young lady. <laughs> I, you're the one. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I used to do that to my boss. I would lure him into the most like uh, unpolitically correct thing to say and then totally blame him blame him for it. Like bait him into it I'm and then sorry, go, I can't believe you just said that. And he'd be it's like, come on, the really? weekend. Aztec said, wow. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. That was, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be. <laughs> he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be like, I know what you meant. And I'm like, you have to explain it to me because I don't know what that word means. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I would put like maybe all the different types of trees and, and stuff. In oh, wow. You're getting like hella organized. I was just thinking part like the park. one library with, what are you? Explain yourself, Ed. Can so you make unfortunately. Text, can you make text thick? Is that possible? Can you like drag no. that blue out? There's no 3D text. No. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. It will just lift it from the surface. Oh. So, okay. Give you a cool alignment trick though. Is if you take the... I think it's the edge of it and align it somewhere and then grab this and go all the way down then it will sit on the surface and not get and not like by the do object. that weird yeah because yeah. sometimes there's this weird popping thing when you 
line something up perfectly, but that's not doing it. That's perfect. Yeah, that will line up your text every time. Nice. And Great then, trick. Yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Use the handles to move it. There we go. So this is where I'd put my trees. And then I'd come in and get these guys. And move those down here. But then, then, I'd build, then you'd like, have to have like a little floating island for each type of asset. Wouldn't wouldn't you wouldn't it be better right. to have like one library? I just group some certain things together, maybe. Okay. So I've got some trees here. If I have like some like maybe the arches would be in another little portion, but I'd put them next to each other. I just kind of clone this like that. Do you ever keep do you ever keep individual assets? Like for instance, a leaf. Or do you always just keep the the done one for later and then you can like pull it apart if you need? Um, I usually group them. So I'll show okay. you how I did this in the other one. So if we go back to the Horizon Ball Hub, which I need to get like a screenshot on here. I'll show you how to do screenshot um, thing too. I should have put one on our level before I left, darn it. Because we took put one last what? week. A screenshot oh. on the cover page. So I don't have one on, on this. I need to release this in the beta soon. I was building the Hangout. The game part, I think, is done. I saw this at the beginning of the show. It looks um, perfect. I think you're just, at this point, you're just like nitpicking, man. It looks that? great. What a weird noise. I know you guys can't hear it. But... Is there an intruder okay. in your home, darling? Okay. So you can see I have like these plants and those and those and those right so if i zoom out the build mode and i go under the map uh which side did i put them on oh they're there right beneath me so here is my all my assets so i do have them okay. all grouped into one spot on this map so there's my trees and my lamp and whenever i need to copy one of these things i just come down here and i copy away and then um, these right here, you'll see I copied those. And I use them in a variety of ways up here. I see. So you don't keep the the variations. You just keep No, I just came mother. in here and modified the group and switched out some of the leaves so they don't all look identical. Maybe so just for those of the bushes. You don't know i used to work at panera in college it was a very brief summer at panera and they call the like the starter of the loaf the mother and they have it like going for like years and years and years so all their bread has like a little bit of the mother in it and uh i was hanging out with zach's grandpa one day and i was like he like uses like scoop coffee and like a drip maker Ugh. and i made him a fresh pot of coffee and he goes what did you do with the coffee, Alyssa? And I was like, what are you talking oh, about? No. I threw out the I threw out the coffee grounds and I, I made a new one. He goes, you don't throw out the mother. Oh, you just God. keep he adding to it. That's not a thing, right? <laughs> he adds, until, like every time he wants a new pot of coffee, he adds a scoop to the oh, pre-existing grounds until it's completely full and then he has to change out. And I was like, oh, no. he calls it the mother. So Ed That's does not... Gross. Ed does not keep the variations, he just keeps the mother. And there you Is go. There, there you go. like you know how like if somebody's mistreating their, their child, like <laughs> child protective services. You're saying in. a coffee protective services hotline. Yeah, is there is there somebody we can call for for that? I'm just curious because I was I mortified. Feel like, I had yeah. been drinking that coffee all weekend. I was like, the mother? <laughs> it's gotta be the most burnt tasting coffee. Because it was actually extremely watered down. <laughs> There's actually science behind this stuff. It's not like just opinion, like coffee after I mean, the first. Ed, there's science behind yeah. bacteria. Like, let's get real here. Yeah, yeah, but that not thing's coffee. sitting there for the coffee's like different. weeks. Uh, coffee does not gain flavor as it sets. It does the opposite. The mother. Yeah, it's gross, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've got my like fence posts and thing or fence posts, light posts that I used around. Even these, I didn't keep a variation. I just deleted the like pedestal off and shrunk it. So you like, don't, 
Yeah. Quad venti soy with coffee, you get mold from wet grounds. I, I know. Absolutely mortified when I found this out. And the man is still yeah. alive. I don't I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta take my headset off for this. Do it. Come hang out. Uh also, um I I feel like I would be like as I start creating assets. I've already started doing it where I keep more individual things. Like I don't want to recreate that leaf again. So like I keep, <laughs> I keep the like leaf that's not grouped together, like the base leaf, or I'll keep like the stock, the base stock. And you don't do that at all. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe you're not afraid of like cannibalizing. Like you'll go and copy and then just like start tearing it apart once you want the thing. Like, I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can't hear you. Can't. Uh, you're, did you swap the 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 mics? Are you muted? Is it just me? I cannot hear you. I switched mics back and it it toggled it again. You're back. So in the tools, they have that mode where you can select a group and then hit the button to focus on the group. So I yeah. clone the tree, and then focus on the clone, and then move the leaves, and then pull back the focus and now I have a new tree with different once shapes. I go into that focus mode I or once even like grouping I'm really bad with because once I've grouped like most of a tree but I forgot a branch I have to just ungroup and start again because I don't know how to add something into that group or take something out of that group Do, is there a way like once you're in focus mode to be like duplicate this leaf and take it out of the group like yes I'm trying to remember what you have to hit to get it out of the group. But you do, is that what you do? Like whenever you want an individual item from a group? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Getting something out of a group, it, you can copy within a group and it will add it to the group. I don't know if you can remove it, an individual item from a group. You have to ungroup, grab it, and Yeah, then I think you have to ungroup okay. the items okay. to get them out. Cool. So. Well, awesome. We're at the a little bit past top of the hour, so I don't want to keep you too much longer. Yep. But seriously, right. thank you for answering yeah. my questions, all of chat's questions. It was epic. And, and you have you horrified to... me with the coffee story, and I, I'm going to find the correct authorities to report this person to. So they're not allowed <laughs> yeah. to buy yeah. coffee my, anymore. My grandpa-in-law, he uh, still keeps the mother, so let that haunt you today. <sighs> The things people do to food that disappoints me. That's oh, not God. A thing. It's not a thing. <laughs> like it. Thank you, chat, so much, though. You've made it fun. I yeah. loved your questions and your comments. Um, we'll be here, same bat channel, next week to do another showdown and keep progressing our level um, and uh, have a functionality twist on this next one. So that'll be cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll hear more coffee horror stories from Alyssa as well. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to bring some. I used to work in a coffee shop. So, okay, just one more before we go. Uh, I, I once made a drink on the reg, like every week for this woman. And it was an iced cup of coffee. And over half the cup, not exaggerating, was syrup. Oh. I The first time I made it for her, I was like, Oh my God. Ma'am, you've requested like 30 pumps of syrup. That can't be right. And I like showed her how much that was. And she goes, Oh, that doesn't look like enough. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look like enough. <laughs> so I worked at Burger King uh, when I was a kid. And um, it's so terrible. The, there's these people, like, like the syrup lady. And you, no matter what industry you're in, you will find these people. This guy comes in and he's like, I want a Whopper, like extra onions, like extra, extra onions. And like every time you press the button on the keyboard at the place, extra to Burger King meant 50% more. So like if you have two pickles and you hit extra, you get one more pickle. So like extra onions is like, you know, you throw like a handful and then like another pinch on top. He's like, just extra, extra, extra. And we like bring out the burger and he's like, this isn't enough. And he legit grabs like a 32 ounce soda thing off the counter, plops it down and goes, fill that cup. So did you, like, did you watch him eat it? Yeah. So like, he's just like piling like onions on his like burger and like smashing it in and just like eating them out of the cup. And it was just like vile. And like, 
I, he comes in again like i recognize him so I'm, he's like extra extra i'm like I, I like grab the cup and i'm like i'll fill this up for you and he's like you got it so it was a to-go order and like <laughs> i put this 32 ounce thing full of onions in his bag and like we used to have these little after dinner mints and i i i grab like the whole like bin and i just just pile them in like to the back <laughs> So dude gets his bag and he, he, he's got his cup and he's digging around. He, he pulls out like a handful of mints and he looks at me. He goes, I think this is funny. I was like, yeah. And he like dumps them on the counter and walks off. I was like, "Uh Oh, it touched a nerve. (laughs) I didn't. Yeah. Quad Vinci said, Uh, Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh, there I am. Quad Vinci said, former partner number one six six. That's that's awesome. I mm-hmm. honestly, I, I was trying to look it up just now to give you my old partner number. It was back in, I want to say twenty, I want to say twenty ten or two thousand nine when I was there. So, oh bless your heart. But, I love how your story uh, starts with a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it. mine starts with a nineteen in front of it. It was a nineteen. <laughs> Hey, I was born in 89. I'm like the same age as you. <laughs> Mine was uh, 1995. Oh, when you were at Burger King? <laughs> yeah. Oh, good oh, story. Like I was mad though. He was so mad. I bet. Some you... people have no sense of humor, man. Uh... Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Literally, I just the some some the things that some people consume, like working in the food industry. I was just like, "How are you not dead?" I don't get it. <laughs> I, so. I mean, you know, you had the regulars, and you're like, "That's going into your body." I don't understand. <laughs> so way back, way back in, well, if it went, when Alyssa like way back in the day in two thousand. <laughs> Nine, 2010. Back in the 19th to 20th century. Uh, <laughs> in the future. Um, you know, I, I, when, I, when I was 16, I was working at Burger King. My, uh, my boss, like you're talking about people eating things and you're surprised they live. Yeah. Um, my boss is like, I, so I, I'm, I'm working like a long shift and uh, it's dinner time. So I buy four Whoppers large fries and um, pack it all up and I'm getting ready to walk out They're They're Western Whoppers, by the way, this was like bacon, cheese, extra toppings, getting ready to walk out the door. Like this is f- like for the family, right? <laughs> so I got like mom, dad, sister, myself, burger and fries. I'm leaving and, and he grabs and he's like, Oh, I need you to work another uh, couple hours. He's like, can you, can you do it? I'm like, well, I just bought like the whole family dinner. I was like, what am I supposed to do with it? He's like, eh, eat it. And then he walks away and I'm like, all right. So I go to the break room and I sit down and I eat the whole thing. Like I eat it all like wrappers and everything are in the bag. And he Were walks you in. not just so sick? <laughs> he walks in the break room and he's like, he's like, so he's like uh, the bag of food. He's like, whatever that was, just give me the receipt. He's like, well, we'll either give you the money back. Or we'll re-ring it. And uh, he's like, what'd you do with it anyway? I was like, you said eat it, dude. He's like, what? He's like, I was, I was like, you said eat it. I was like, I went ahead and just ate it. <laughs> he's like, there's no way. <laughs> you ate all that food. Mind you, mind you, I'm like 135 pounds soaking wet. Uh, and uh, he's, he, I dump out like all the like wrappers, wrappers out of the bag right in front of him. He's like, he's just astonished. And he, he's like, all right. He's like, you need anything to drink with that? I was like, yeah, I'll take a large <laughs> chocolate shake. <laughs> the teenage oh, metabolism, right? Like, right? Four oh, whoppers. I, I finished the shift. How, how are you not sick? Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, Silicon, my first job was a Saturday job in a computer shop, generally convincing people to buy a 15 inch CRT monitor instead of the regular 14. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. <laughs> oh man first job i was a lifeguard what about you what was your was that your first one ed no i uh worked at a golf course as a cart caddy like i'd go get the carts and clean all the people's nastiness out of them it's not, <laughs> not fun there was always trash and 
I can leftovers imagine. And... It sounds gross. <laughs> How old were you? 14. 14. Yeah. I was, yeah. yeah, I was 15. I'm sorry, Silicon. That sounds hard. Honestly, sales is not. I was, it was always either water, some sort of water sports for me or the food industry, which I don't really count the food industry as sales. People are showing up and they're going to buy something, right? It's just like, torment. That's all. That's all that it's literally. It is. Oh. It's like the hardest job ever and it pays mm -hmm. garbage. So I felt bad for folks that have to put up with yeah. that too long. Yeah. Uh, Silicon Orchid, by the way, if you don't know, Alyssa is, um, is uh, Layla codes its partner and uh, he makes all of her backgrounds. Oh, that's her awesome. Show. Yeah. And Silicon, do you get on stream ever? Yeah. No. Maybe? I, I keep trying to turn the screws. Like we need a uh, how they did it, like get the backgrounds into Unity and all that. I want to see how that was all oh done. Oh my God, yes. But it is so about they, 15 they past they here. Cool. Oh yeah, you gotta go. I need gotta to go. run. I've got a school thing to do for the kids and I will see you all next, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll we'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be on for UI Friday. So come, come check it out. Bye-bye everybody.